in this video, we'll solve these two work rate problems. A uh, work rate problem is a typical kind of word problem that you have to set up a rational equation. Okay, let's start from A. Chandra can embroider logos on a team sweatshirt in six hours. So the time for Chandra to complete the job is six hours. All right, so for Tracy, can complete the same job in nine hours. And we're looking for the number of hours it will take for both of them to do the job. So let's say it, it takes them X hours to complete the job. Okay, so you have to know this X should be less than six. Of course, it should be less than nine, right? Because if they're working together, it should take them less time. Okay, so how do we set up? We will approach this problem by uh, using the concept of work rate. Okay, so since it takes Chandra six hours to complete the job, let's see, let me draw a little graph here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So for this is the whole job. For each hour, Chandra will complete one sixth of the whole task, right? So we have six, one sixth add up together. That's the whole job, right? So the work rate for each, well, we'll say per hour, for each hour, Chandra will complete one sixth of the whole task. Similarly, Tracy will complete one ninth of the whole job and when they work together for each hour they will complete one over x this much this much of the whole job okay so that means for each hour how much chandra completed plus how much tracy completed should be equal to how much they have completed together right so i can set up the equation one six plus one ninth should be equal to one over x. Okay, so we're done setting up the equation. Now we have to solve the equation. So first of all, we have to find the LCD here, least common denominator. So among six, nine, and x, the LCD here will be 18x. Okay, because uh, between 6 and 9, the LCD is 18. What you can do is find the multiple of 6 and 9 and see if you can find a common one. So the multiple of 6 is 6, and then um, 12, 18, 24, and etc. Right, the multiple of 9 is 9, then 18, 27, you know, 36, and etc. You can see the least common one is 18. So you have to include x as one of the factor in the common denominator, All right? So 18x. All right. Now we have to turn each denominator into the common denominator. So I'm going to multiply the 6 by 3x. So that will become an 18x. So do the same on top. Multiply the 9 by 2x to make it the 18x and multiply the x by 18 to make it 18x. All right, now this problem becomes 3x over 18x plus 2x over 18x equals 18 over 18x. Since they have the common denominator, we can just, you know, make the top equal. So 3x plus 2x should be equal to 18. 5x is 18, then x is 18 over 5. If you turn it into a mixed number, or uh, you will get 3 and 3 over 5. How do you do it? You just divide 18 by 5, right? That's 3 times 5 is 15. The remainder is 3. So you have 3, that's the whole number part. and 3 over 5. 
right? This many hours, which makes sense because um, three and three over five is definitely less than six. Right. Okay, now let's look at problem B here. Okay, so here we also have two people involved. One is called Kant, and the other one is Brandt. And they're cutting wood. Okay, Kant can cut and split wood twice as fast as Brandt can. And when they work together, Uh, it takes them four hours. Okay. And how long would it take each of them to do the job alone? Okay. So since Kent can cut and split the wood twice as fast as Brand can, uh, that means if it takes Brand X hours to complete the job, it will take Kent two Oh, it's the other way around, right? If it takes Kant X hours to complete the job, it will take Brand two hours to complete the job because Kant can cut the wood twice as fast as Brand can, right? So if Kant is X, Brand is two X because Brand takes it takes Brand longer. Okay, so now let's go to the work rate. So for each hour, Kent will complete 1 over x, this much of the whole task, and Brent will complete 1 over 2x, this much portion of the whole task. And when they work together, for each hour, 1 quarter of the job will be completed. Okay, so we can set up an equation, which is... For each hour, 1 over x plus 1 over 2x, it's how much they complete in one hour, should be equal to 1 fourth. Right. So now we need to solve this equation. So first let's find the least common denominator, which is 4x. Right now I need to turn each denominator into 4x. So to multiply this x by 4, same to the top, multiply 2x by 2, same to the top, and 4 by x, same to the top. So this problem becomes 4 over 4x plus 2 over 4x equals x over 4x. Now uh, let's make the top equal. That means 4 plus 2 equals x x is 6, which makes sense, right? It will take Kent 6 hours to complete the work and Brent 12 hours to cut the wood. Okay, so that's the answer to the problem. And I hope you find this video helpful, and I will see you in the next video.